Hi guys, Otto here from Tron.com. What would you do if you had a Toma Switch, but you wanted to control more than 200 I.O. devices, more than 50 RTS, or if you had one at home and wanted one at work, or wanted another Switch for your holiday home? What would you do? Because you can't do that with one Switch. Well, there's a solution for that, because now with the Toma Switch, you can control from one app more than one Switch at the same time. So let's have a look and see how that's done. So obviously there are scenarios where you need more than one Toma switch. And before with the V2 version of the Toma, you can use more than one from one app. And that's changed with the Toma switch. Because now you can control up to three Toma switch devices with one app. And that's a big advantage because what you need to do in the app is just switch from one Toma to the other. And you can control the devices that are connected to that particular Toma switch. So that's very useful because if you, like I said, needed to operate it from more than one location, you can do that now from one app and you don't need two phones uh, with two separate apps for two Toma switches. So that's a big benefit. Are there any drawbacks? Well, you still need to set up an account. So when you add a Toma switch to your existing installation, then you still need to go through the whole uh, registration procedure. So you do need a separate email address and you do need to go through the whole setup. So that's the one thing that's a little bit of a disadvantage. That's just part of uh, registering the Toma in the Somfy system. Apart from registering the Toma, of course, you need to connect the motors and devices that you want to connect to your switch and that's done for each switch separately so you connect the devices that you want to control for example for your home tahoma um, to that one and the devices at work you connect them to the separate tahoma that you use for work so you connect those devices that you want to connect to the specific tahoma that you want to use it for so it's very convenient that you can now use different tahomas if you have any questions about how this is going to be set up or you have any technical questions about tahoma do let me know the email address is info at thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video